Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. It's Friday, and that means it's time to fire up another free-to-play game here on Big Dave is Cheap. This week we're playing Air Mech from Carbon Games. I got this game free as part of the Indie Royale. It will be a free-to-play game, but this is free access to the Alpha. Yes, this game looks very polished, but they are still calling this an Alpha phase. So if you got the Indie Royale, you can check out the Steam client test version of this game. Amazingly enough, this game also plays in Chrome web browsers. According to the developers, they wanted to start at the bottom with the Chrome web browser and work their way up. So they built the game on the lowest platform that it would be playable on, and then they're working their way back up. So it is and currently has been playable in the Chrome browser as a Chrome app. I'm making air quotes when I say app. For a little while, watched the guys over at Giant Bomb play it a few weeks ago. It looked very, very interesting. It is an RTS at heart. As you can see, it uh, really involves ferrying a lot of units around. It's really a battlefield management simulator more than it's a traditional RTS. I really like the level of control that they give you, and I really think this is a promising looking game. That being said, it is pretty empty at the moment. I was trying to play it on a Friday... What time was this? About... Oh, I don't know. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock on a Friday, and I wasn't able to get a game. There was one game going, but it was waiting for four players. I popped in and out of it a couple of times, but we could never find enough players to get the game started. So this is me playing the computer in a practice match. That will explain why I do so well. But I have to say... My initial first impression of this alpha version of the game is that there's a lot of promise here. I'm a little unsure about how they're going to monetize it. Looking through the store, there's some odd things. There are pilots that you can purchase, but there's also a free pilot rotation, a la sort of League of Legends, Dota, uh, or uh, excuse me, Han, that sort of thing, where the pilots do give you slight bonuses, and those appear to be free rotation based or you can buy them and play whatever pilot you want anytime you want. Also, they have uh, different mechs you can buy, different units. It would appear that you can build your actual unit uh, loadout for each individual battle. They have uh, six or seven maps right now, four or five game modes. There's a lot going on in this game. I mean, it has a ton, a ton of promise. I really think you guys should check it out. You can head over to carbongames.com for more information on how to get into the alpha. I believe you can get uh, preferential treatment on getting into that uh, Steam test if you didn't get the Indie Royale by liking them on Facebook or Google Plus if that still exists by the time you are listening to this. So uh, that's pretty much going to do it for our game this week. Watch the footage in front of you. It is a wonderfully promising looking game and I would definitely recommend that you look into it a little bit deeper. Once the game has been developed a little bit further and the servers are more populated, I will probably do a proper video first impression of it. But for right now, this is what we got. So this is the footage that you are seeing. So what else should we talk about? What's been going on this week? Oh yeah, that's right, E3, right? Now, you guys know I'm more of an indie sort of game guy, and there wasn't really a lot going on indie at E3. I know IndieCade had a presence there. Uh, IndieCade, for those of you who don't know, is a uh, is sort of a I don't want to call it a contest but basically it is uh, y you submit games they have a festival in in October and you know games will be judged as all things are judged in life right so IndieCade had a presence there and uh, there was some interesting stuff going on there a lot of stuff that, you know that people already knew about I think Binding of Isaac was there uh, Valley Without Wind several games that I knew of knew about or have played were uh, were there but Aside from that, not a huge indie presence. There's a lot of stuff in terms of mobile, and a lot of that stuff will eventually come to Steam and sort of has that same indie vibe, or what was, what was my term? Indie chops. They sort of have indie chops, right? A lot of mobile games. Uh, I would say out of all the non-mainstream things that, that caught my eye, I was most impressed by the unfinished Swan. That game looked amazing. You really need to check out some footage on that. It is coming to us from uh, Giant Sparrow. I haven't really heard of anything else that they've done, but uh, this game looks really cool. You are in a completely white world, and you navigate around by throwing out paint, and the paint paints 
the different aspects of the room, and so that's how you find your, your way around. You, you, you guide yourself by splooging paint all over the walls. It looks really, really promising. So uh, definitely, definitely take a look at the unfinished swan. So what else from E3 caught my eye? Well, a lot of sequels, I really don't care about those. Uh, you know, some of them look great. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 looks great. You know, there are things that look good. I even think that uh, Black Ops 2 looks, looks promising. It looks like Treyarch is definitely trying to take their part of the Call of Duty franchise off in a unique direction. Uh, but let's see, uh, I think everybody probably raised an eyebrow for Watch Dogs, as I know I did. Uh, it looks really cool from what they showed, but it wouldn't be the first time that a uh, developer showed something at E3 that didn't really turn out to be all that it was cut out to be. Now, if it is what it showed, then it's going to be an amazing game. I mean, the hacking, you know, walking around, seeing the information popping up on people you know, like, has well, their blood type and their mortgage and all this stuff, you know, that interesting info that's just popping up. I mean, it's kind of filler, but it's really cool. Uh, the actual gameplay, the only real action that they showed was uh, basically just cover-based shooting. Uh, but the actual, the actual detective work that was going on in the trailer, being able to kind of decide what you want to do, uh, I don't know if it'll be sort of Hitman-like, where you have a lot of different options. You know, if you haven't seen the trailer, he's going on a target, and what he ends up doing is going outside, hacking into the traffic system, and causing an accident, and acquiring his target that way. And that was really, really cool. Now, if there's multiple ways to do that, uh, like a Hitman game where you can come in, you know, guns blazing or silent as a uh, whisper, then that would be... A quite frankly, wonderfully amazing. I would love to see that, and I would love to uh, play that. But we will uh, we'll have to wait and see on Watch Dogs, see exactly what it is. Spec Ops The Line looks interesting. I don't really know that I'm all that interested in it, though. I mean, it's um, it's been in development for a while. It's sort of been iterated a couple of times. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's a pretty, pretty promising-looking game. It looks like a lot of what they've done there is... Um, it's going to be interesting. We'll see if it actually pans out or not. Uh, I was excited to see uh, some Hawkins stuff. Hawkins definitely a game that I'm looking forward to. Uh, what else? Uh, Star Wars 1313. That looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. Gritty Star Wars. No one's really ever done it before. And uh, I think that it's definitely time for that. Uh, Rise of, excuse me, End of Nations. I almost said Rise of Nations. Uh, R.I.P. Big, huge games there. Uh, End of Nations. Really looking forward to that, and I gotta say, Try On Worlds, you guys know I'm a Rift fan, but Try On Worlds, they've got a couple of really nice looking projects coming out. End of Nations along with Defiance. Defiance even looks looks quite interesting. Uh, you know, a uh, another attempt at a sort of a proper first person shooter uh, MMO, what was it? Uh, Tabula Rasa, was that? Garriott's game, that he tried to do a, an MMO FPS. Looking forward to it. I mean, it's got a big contender on the horizon in the form of Planetside 2, which, again, a lot of stuff there with Planetside 2. Total Biscuit fans will know all about Planetside 2. He was pimping that really strongly throughout E3, doing some exclusive coverage there uh, for that. A lot of really promising-looking stuff coming out of E3 for free-to-play gamers. Let's see, anything else? Uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines. I kind of raised an eyebrow, but I'm not all that interested in it. Yes, I'm looking through a, a list of stuff that happened at E3 right now. Uh, let's see, uh, Hell Yeah, looking amazing. couple times we've seen Hell Yeah. As my dog walks out of the room, really need to cut his toenails. So let's see, anything else of interest? Uh, you know, here and there, there were interesting things that popped up. Uh, you know, it was cool to see the LEGO Lord of the Rings. The LEGO's games are always fun. Um, you know, those games are always interesting. But, uh, you know, everything else was kind of expected. You know, Borderlands 2 is going to be great. Uh, what was the other? Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph, I gotta say. A little bit pissed off about Wreck-It Ralph. That was a preview for a movie that's coming from Disney uh, with uh, John C. Riley in it. A little bit pissed off about that because you guys might remember back at the first of the year, I said my resolution for 2012 was to do something creative. And uh, I've been developing that story. That is actually still going on. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to finish it by the end of the year, but I have been developing a sort of a a five to ten minute animated short 
and I've been writing it off and on and doing some character uh, concepts. Actually, just broke out my uh, my uh, drawing tablet today to hook up to the computer and mess around with that. But they kind of ripped off my idea in that. Um, uh, just my, my idea being that you know when uh, when video game characters aren't being played, that they all live together in a happy video game world, and uh, that was part of the premise for my. <laughs> for my upcoming uh, animated project. So, a little bit pissed off that they kind of stole my thunder on that, but, you know, it'll be okay. So, what else, what else? Dust514, uh, five, uh, five interested in that. I'm really interested to see how it how it pans out, how exactly that's integrated into, uh, into EVE Online. I really, really am looking forward to that. And uh, Quantum Conundrum, you know, is another thing that I'm really looking forward to. I guess that would rank in sort of the indie area, uh, if you will. But uh, Quantum Conundrum, it's coming out in a couple weeks, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know that I'll buy it right out of the gate, but uh, I am highly considering it because of, obviously, the portal connection. So, let's see. Anything else interesting that you guys saw at E3? Why don't you tell me in the comments below if uh, you're looking forward to anything in particular about E3? Uh, if you guys want to let me know that, I've got a few Indie Gala number four bundles. I believe it's number four. Yeah. That I want to give away. So uh, share your E3 moments with me in the comments below, and uh, you will be eligible for one of four Indie Gala number four. Anything else to talk about? No, I don't really think so. I could probably talk about a whole lot more, but I don't want to make these uh, free to play Friday videos extremely long. So. E3 was the dominant news bit of the last week. You are seeing air mech footage on your screen right now. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think the game has a lot of positive possibilities. I'm interested to see where they go with it. Hopefully the monetization model will not be predatory. It won't be the sort of monetization model where you can pay to win. That's a very tempting model for developers to take. Hopefully Carbon Games will resist that. Fingers crossed. I am enjoying the alpha so far. Hopefully you can step out and take a look at that as well. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this, the third installment of Free to Play Fridays. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.